okay so in our previous class so we learned like uh, what is the view and the procedures and functions and everything what is the advantage and disadvantages everything we learned okay but when to choose what okay everything will use to uh, retrieve the data right stored procedure will retrieve the data and the procedures will retrieve the data and functions okay these three in sql these three will uh, retrieve the data but but question is like when to go what okay yep so so when uh, view so why, when we will go with the view and what is the uh, disadvantages view and how to overcome the disadvantages view with the another topic okay something like that we will go and then we'll see okay so if you want me to increase the size so still uh, i can increase guys okay let me go and then go with the 18 okay so hope it's clear kada so view will support like uh, simple queries and complex queries guys okay so it will retrieve the data by using simple and complex queries okay so first point is it will go and it will support like simple queries and complex queries okay okay so the second one is complex queries okay it will support simple queries and complex queries okay and also by using view we can okay by using view we can update and insert and delete the data in table underlying table okay by using views what we can do we can update okay update update data in a table okay data in a table and insert data in a table okay insert data in a table okay that we this we have seen okay so uh, which uh, views it will update and uh, okay simple view okay simple view okay simple views are um, updates or insert and delete the data in a base tables okay underlying tables okay delete data in a table base okay so that we can do by using view and also uh, views uh, so by using views we can do what is the limitations of view limitations of view view is not support to the and also we can read the data and read means select the data okay read means okay we can select the data okay we can select the data by using view okay read select the data okay and what is the limitations of okay, limitations okay limitations limitations of view what is the limitations of view parameters we cannot use the uh, parameters okay parameters and we cannot use the temporary tables and we cannot use the order by class something like that okay we cannot use the temp tables okay so those are the limitations okay we have uh, clearly explained the limitations of view in a separate video okay so guys if you are new to this view and function and stored procedure concept okay uh, so i have explained very clearly in our uh, uh, videos like what is a view and uh, what view can do that and everything okay so that i have explained very clearly so please go and watch that videos okay if you haven't watched about the view and functions and true procedures okay so i have explained everything is clear like uh, so what is the view and what is the advantage of view and what is the limitations i have explained and what is the functions okay what functions can do or how many types of user defined functions and uh, uh, system defined functions we have and everything i have explained and stored procedures also like input parameter and output parameter so so these are the limitations okay so if you go here and this is a limitations okay these are the limitations and also it will not support the programming okay so programming means like a, a while loop something like okay programming it will not support okay so this is the view okay now so functions okay functions uh, cannot okay by using functions you cannot uh, do the insert and update and delete case okay so you cannot do the okay underlying table you cannot okay it, it will have the parameters okay it will okay it support the parameters okay support input parameters only okay input parameters but uh, the thing is by using function okay using function you cannot do the insertion in a table okay base table uh, in base table you cannot insert the data okay you cannot uh, insert the data sorry cannot insert the database table by using view sorry by using function cannot insert and cannot delete and cannot update okay so this is about 
but you can only you can only do that reading okay so you can do the complex aggregations guys okay so you can do some complex aggregations by using view sorry function okay what we can do so you can do the aggregation so that is the advantage you can do the aggregations but that is only select statement okay you can do the selects okay you can retrieve the data you can read the data okay and also the advantage is here like we can do the aggregations okay complex aggregations you can you okay you can do complex aggregations and you can do and then okay you can use that view in the select and update and delete okay so you can um, so that what is the limitation of functions functions um, okay so limitations okay limitations so limitations is that so you cannot insert or update and delete okay you cannot insert update and delete a data by using functions okay you cannot uh, so in table you cannot do that okay so base tables you cannot do that okay so this is one more and then it, it's it will uh, not have the output parameters okay it will not have the output parameters okay but which one will have the input and output parameters stored procedure will have the input and output parameters case okay so and one more limitation is that so you cannot call the okay you cannot call the you cannot call sp okay sp means stored procedure you cannot call sp in a function guys okay in function that is also one of the limitations okay so do not support the okay so that is about the only uh, this things okay limitations in uh, function okay so now stored procedure okay stored procedure will support the all dml okay all dml operations so like dml means what insert okay update and delete and select okay all dml operations and all ddl operations like all uh, ddl means drop create alter and everything okay and programming language also it will support okay so what programming okay so programming means while loop kind of uh, things and cursors okay so this this will support and also uh, call another sp in a sp okay so you can call the stored procedure in another stored procedure okay so call another sp okay sp means stored procedure inside the another stored procedure guys okay inside another stored procedure okay that is also advantage and also you can call the function okay call the functions okay functions in stored procedures another functions are functions in the stored procedure and also you can use the cursors okay cursors concept is there so we haven't covered that so but uh, cursors also we can also one of the best thing is uh, in um, uh, stored procedure is that so we have seen the cache execution plan okay it will cache the execution plan guys okay execution plan okay because of that stored procedures uh, will be faster okay so because of this cache execution plan execution plan so the stored procedures are very fast sps are faster okay and sp supports input and output parameters okay stored procedures supports what input and output parameter okay input and output parameters okay so these are the things we can do okay we can do everything okay we can do everything in the procedure okay but this guy also have some limitations okay what is the limitations okay so to call uh, uh, stored procedure case okay to call stored procedure you have to use the exit keyword okay so limitation is that so you have to so limitations sorry so you have to use the exit keyword you cannot use that in a select statement or in a select statement okay you cannot use that in a select or where class and uh, delete okay but you have to if you want to execute the stored procedure so you have to use exit or exit uh, execute keyword so to call the stored procedure okay to execute the stored procedure and 
so that is that is the disadvantage okay so you cannot uh, you cannot call okay you cannot uh, call uh, sp a part of select insert update and delete okay so these areas we cannot go with this like so hope you understand this okay so because of these parameters okay it's not supporting the parameters that is the reason we can go with the functions and store processes okay so if you want only input parameters you don't want to insert or update the um, uh, back end data okay only you have aggregations then you can go with the function okay only you have an input parameter and then uh, no need to update the uh, back end table something and then that is a complex okay complex aggregations so then you can go with the function but uh, so you have a, a input and output parameters like uh, you need and programming language something and you need to go with the all dml and ddl operations we can do something and also uh, it, uh, so the stored pressure will use the execution plan and it will be faster right so these these areas okay if you are clear these uh, things okay so you know how to choose or like you are understanding the behavior of uh, view and functions and stored processes right like which one you need to choose and so what are the uh, things we can go hope you clear this uh, uh, concepts case okay hope you are clear with these concepts right so if and also most of the people will ask the interview question like uh, what is the difference between uh, functions and stored procedures and functions and views and or else like function uh, views are stored procedures okay so they are having the lot of differences okay these are the differences and uh, which one is having the what is the limitations and all we explained very clearly okay so still uh, if you have any doubts and you can uh, post it in comment and so that i will clear okay so hope this is clear guys okay hope you like the video uh, please uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed my channel and uh, share my video guys okay thank you